Welcome to Blue Baron Truck Mounts here in Holiday, Florida. We have a fully finished Blue Baron 47XL. And as you can see, it's got a 32 and a half Kohler on it, big block. And it's got all the power that you need. It'll do up to 3,000 pounds pressure. It's got a five and a half flow rate, gallon per minute AR pump. We have 3,500 pounds pressure rated, patented heat exchanger known as Access Point. It's been out since for quite some time now since we've been first building. I've been building for 18 years and we really take the pride into the build. Okay, so we got quarter plate, all laser cut, beautiful, beautiful laid out. The way it's laid out, organized, well constructed. Everything is all infrastructure. Full instrument panel with aviator throttle where you can get micro uh, RPMs as you can see look at the casing here it's just like really sturdy just a beautiful machine and we have accessory plugs right here for your pump out or demand pump you have a pump uh, or actually a hose for your drain drain for your engine oil and you got a pump uh, drain here for your oil in your crankcase of your AR pump so it's handy. Everything is really handy and easy to get to. And we have the last step injection. And we have an all stainless header. Uh, just this is the artwork that I do. This is, uh, I've developed the skill set to build these beautiful stainless headers. And it's really paid off in the industry. Everything is super high quality. We've got a lot of stainless braided hoses, bar stock fittings. As you can see, the back of this, we have a 4LR blower capable of 562 CFM. It has dual wand capability, and it has, um, it's very strong, well-constructed, uh, suitor-built. Um, Gardner Denver builds some beautiful blowers. We, that's all we've been using because of their reputation. We don't use direct drive because that will cause you to be in a real problem down the road if they break. The belts last way longer. They're industrial size, B size belts, cog belts, run cool, quick transfer of power, uh, low slippage. And I've had guys that had their units for five years and finally changed out their belts after five years of rigorous operation, commercially, residentially. So as you can see, um, we have accessory plugs, of course, that's for your... Uh, accessory lines, no alligator clips to your battery. This is all professionally organized, plug-in, easy access. We even have it separately fused. And uh, again, you've got all your drains for your, don't let your oil go flying all over the place. Everything is nicely organized where you can just put the drip pan. And uh, everything is here that does a beautiful job. 3,500 pounds pressure rated, unlike the manufacturers that have 1,000, 1,200 limits. And they do, they, they cap off their high pressure system on purpose because their coil system, and they're usually copper tube and fin, that cheap crap that they build their heaters with, uh, it doesn't last that long. I know because I sell, I've sold over 2,000 of these heat exchangers across the board. ProChem. Uh, aftermarkets that we also build. Check us on Google. We're all over the place. This is our major forte is our heat exchanger and a simplistic design truck mount. Easy, open concept, easy to get to parts, easy to, to pull parts out, adjust the belts or install belts and remove the old ones. You got the pullbacks here to give you perfect tension on your belts. You've got your angle alignment here that also adjusts the angle. And the same with your pump. You have the pullbacks here for your pump. Lap step injection to keep the chemical from uh, caking up all the soap or alkalis, especially if you're not using a water softener. Inside the coils and the fittings and hoses of your truck mount, you want them to last a long time. Last step injection is the way to go. We have pulse dampening device here to minimize the pulsation and absorb the energy from the pump so it doesn't uh, wear 
put heavy wear on your fittings and coils of your heater and everything else so this machine is made to last and this one is going to Maryland to a second time buyer of a 47 he's had one for several years and he decided to uh, increase his fleet and have another 47 XL which he loves using and a lot of power up to 600 feet of hose you know 562 uh, CFM can also um, mean that you could use a dual wand so it's got dual wand capability and the most important part is it comes in three inch here it's never starved like a lot of the units they starve the inlet they'll go down to two and a half well why would you want to starve a two and a half is purposed out for a three inch not a good idea okay so we uh, have nothing tying down our vacuum system many of the uh, manufacturers put post heaters or preheaters or whichever way you want to call them that add to uh, obstruction and uh, resistance of airflow which creates high friction and heat it wears down your blower it cuts your CFM back which actually will affect dramatically affect your inches of pull on your vacuum and HGs so you end up with wet carpets and those critical um, jobs where the customer might say hey I, we got a function at one o'clock you start at nine it's commercial grade carpet okay so given the fact that you have air conditioning and all of that but you want you want to know that your car the carpets are going to dry right away and your customer is going to be happy and they can run their functions um, especially also at nighttime if you're doing these big concourses in the bowling alleys and the bowlers come in in the morning they don't want their shoes sticking to the floor that's because you've got moisture you don't want any moisture that means you've got to pull uh, a really good vacuum of, in HGs to make sure and ensure full recovery and minimize the dry time it's very important so uh, we're really proud of our Kohlers I'm a Kohler dealer uh, this is a big block and uh, just really can withstand a lot of heavy work got a lot of torque and you can see bar stock fittings here stainless braided hose here uh, just everything is you know well organized a lot of room in here to move your hands around if you have to get up underneath here and loosen the blower or the pump as well the skirting is open so you got um, it's a it's a professional factory look uh, having this quarter plate all professionally laser cut with cutouts look at this all stainless all the way down stainless nipple stainless elbow stainless heat exchange with 3 8 heavy walled stainless tubing and the same with our post heater it has another 40 feet I have a total of 120 feet of tubing on this machine so we're really happy with what we've done with it you know the aviator throttle you can't you can't lose on that I mean if you got a T throttle you oftentimes guys with big hands or pull back and the little dowel pin falls out and there goes your throttle what are you going to use channel locks just to open up your throttle and keep them keep it full throttle it's not going to happen with something that's aircraft quality I mean there's many thousands of feet up in the air and they're using we're using an aviator throttle vernier throttle fine micro rpm adjusters adjustments where you can just get down to um, a finer adjustment rather than a coarse adjustment where you know you go into zero to you know and then to 3600 rpm and it's hard to get it the in-betweens with uh, the fact that you can't lock it down on the conventional T throttle this you can lock down and keep it at a steady RPM so as you see the full instrumentation we got all stainless pipes coming out full quality what can I say thermostatic control with a uh, hot and cold gradient uh, condensed uh, operating instructions for shutdown turning on and shutting it down oil port here WD-40 that lubricates the lobes on your blower your inlet that can come from a freshwater tank 
or a uh, spigot. And this is your drain for your water box in the event that you want to drain your water box to clean it out or winterize your unit. So you have pure windshield wiper or antifreeze that's in that box that, that will gravity feed down in through your coils and fittings and hoses. You've got your uh, three-way here for your last step injection. When it points up, it points to this, which is your metered mode. And when you want to prime it at the very beginning, you push it downward. It goes right into your tank, and then you push it right back up, and you're in the metering mode. And you can adjust the gallon flow rate per hour, depending on your concentration of detergent. Uh, you got two ports here. One could be what two wands, or one could be a pre-sprayer and another wand. So you've got a lot of flexibility here in the way this was constructed. Hand adjuster on loader. And everything is really very, very nicely organized. And we take pride in what we do. Also, acoustic dampening. No mufflers that you get at some auto shop. There's some manufacturers out there that use that and uh, we only use the best in acoustic dampening devices to take out the high decibels and noise sensitive areas. You don't want to lose any jobs, you don't need any problems with people or anything. You want them uh, to be happy and know that you know, you're not causing a disturbance in the area. So we take a lot of pride in keeping our systems nice and quiet and uh, once they're hooked up to that 100 gallon tank they're really very very good so uh, call us today at 727-505-2989 or look us up online at truckboundstore.com thank you